ground Supreme Court slate May 11 for a definite hearing and no conditions permanent. Ohanese tells Bari FG. Check page 11 for details of this story. Allegations of missing 48 million barrels of crude baseless, unfounded. That's Malami talking. Story is on page 8. There's a story that I'll come back to, and but just before that, 10th NAS leadership work with Adamu's NWC, Tinubu tells APC governors. Page 14. Bari's government shouldn't be blamed for not bringing back Chibok girls as coming from the presidency. It's on page 12. Remember, we had the spokesperson, of, one of the president's spokesmen here yesterday, and he was talking about um, how how much effort was put in to bring back the Chibok girls, and the other ones were still be brought back. Um, so there are Nigerian students trapped in desert. We talked about that earlier, page 33, for details. Let's come back down to the bottom of the page that you would like for the sports lovers. Utaka wants Pacero's job. Who's Utaka? The younger generation might not remember Utaka, but he played for Nigeria some time back. And now he's going through a coaching process to get his coaching licenses and he's looking to coach Nigeria someday. That might be a good one. Let's hope that it works out for him. And Mr. and Mrs. And today being Friday, mm -hmm. let's spice up today. Mr. says, oh, Mrs. says, he was the man chasing me back in the village before I met you. Why are you this jealous? And Mrs. says, they said a bird at hand is worth a million in the bush. The man is a village champion. He's just a bird in the bush. <laughs> oh, boy. And that's it from the vanguard. Well, he justifies why he shouldn't be jealous. But, uh, I mean, Nyota, I, I really envy the fact that you had to talk about the... You got to talk about the picture, the front page of the vanguard newspapers. I mean, I played a very little role there yesterday. It was a real honor and privilege to witness a bit of history. That ceremony happens once every 15 to 20 years as a trip in, um, of colors of the Nigerian army. But take a look at Daily Trust here, and this is what they have on your front page. Tinubu settles for Akpabio Barao as Senate President Deputy. So, in case you've been wondering, where is this going to take us to? Where, where are they going to settle? This is what you're seeing on the front page. To convey decision to NWC, other contenders, meets APC governors, says, let's work together on NAS leadership. North can't be second fiddle, that's according to a former governor. Consultations ongoing for speaker, deputy positions, our stories on page four. Um, you also have a number of other stories at the bottom there. Sudan crisis, 1,500 Nigerian evacuees to arrive at Buja today. That's attributed to the federal government. Returnees abandoned in desert over pay hitches. So they also have that story for you. Hundreds of Umrah pilgrims stranded in Saudi so plenty of questions asked as to, you know, what exactly are we doing? Why, why can't we plan things properly? Why? Uh, page 26 is where you find details. Uh, they also have a number of other stories. Federal government says no vaccination as poultry farmers lose 3.4 million birds to flu. So if you've ever <laughs> run a poultry before, my mother ran one once and <laughs> she lost how many birds when she had a thousand birds. And I know how painful that was. So 3.4 million birds to flu. Uh, and federal government says the policy it's going to adopt is no vaccination. You might want to read the story on page 37 of the paper. This was also very heartbreaking to see. Tanker explosion kills 13, injured many in Joss. It's on page 34. And a girl, eight years old, tests HIV positive after mother's boyfriend raped her. You know, we need to do better by our children and not expose them to this sort of thing. What's going to... If we're interested in the story, page 20 will give details as to who the girl is, perhaps what state she is in, and perhaps, you know, what help can come away, because this is what we're now seeing. An eight-year-old girl... Really very heartbreaking. Let's leave it there for Daily Trust newspapers. And we'll leave it there for a look at what the papers are saying today. Sunrise Daily will take a moment and we will be back. <laughs>
be a network media used for all races connecting to the world.